It's almost 12.30. I just woke up. Uh, my flu is feeling a little bit better. So <coughs> I'm going to try to cook this beef soup. That's just how it is when you have a chronic illness. You do things when you can, when you're feeling a little bit better. Not 100%, but um, you don't really get a control uh, when you do things. It's just you just got to be ready for whenever you feel that uh, little pocket of uh, a break in the cloud, so to speak. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boy. <clears throat> Still pretty sick with the flu. Uh, been home by myself for the past couple of weeks now. And the problem is I ran out of food. Mostly I just eat beef soup. As I've said, I'm literally allergic to everything on planet. With immunosuppressants, beef is uh, the least allergic. But I gotta cook that at home by myself. Feeling really weak. Don't have good control of my arms, legs. Part of the reason why I don't have good control of my hands and my feet is because I've been coughing so hard, I've re-irritated the spinal cord injury in my neck that I have three uh, discs pressing in and cutting into my spinal cord. And so that can paralyze everything below the neck. Uh, even too weak to really sit up. So, so I'm gonna pop some Tylenol, see if that could get my fever to calm down so that I can drive and go to a supermarket. <coughs> kind of feel like throwing up pretty bad stomach ache too uh debating if i should turn back all right we made it uh, all right let's get this over with so you guys may ask jeff why don't you get somebody else to do all this stuff for you well first of all those of us with chronic illnesses do you try to be as uh, self-reliant as possible. You just can't depend on other people all the time. So the other problem with having other people do stuff for me is even my closest friends have uh, fragrances and allergens on them, whether if it's just lotion or shampoo that they put on, or if it's a smoker they came in contact with or if it's animals they came in contact with and when they come to my house all of that stuff will get into the carpet or the sofa or the paint and it'll take several days for that stuff to get out so I'm gonna be constantly sick from all those things even when somebody just comes over for a couple minutes so just better for me to try to do it all myself Part one of the mission is complete. Just gotta be well enough to do part two, which is cooking. It's almost 12.30. I just woke up. Uh, my flu is feeling a little bit better. So <coughs> I'm gonna try to cook this beef soup. Hopefully I'll feel well enough to finish making this meal. A lot of times I don't and I have to do it in steps. So I've been learning to use the Instant Pot to make my life a bit easier. Uh, it does a lot of the cooking automatically. Uh, this is only the second time I've done this though, so uh, hopefully I don't mess it up. I'm gonna try to use this as sort of like a frying pan to warm up the stew meat before I cook it. When it gets hot enough to cook, it'll say hot. All right, I'm gonna pour in some grapeseed oil. All right, let's just hope it doesn't get everywhere. I'm gonna add some pre-boiled water just to make the cooking go faster. All right, now I'm gonna set it to pressure cook for 35 minutes on high. There we go. All right, it takes about an hour or more for the Instant Pot to cook. Even though I set it to 35 minutes, it takes a while to preheat it to the right pressure. And then after it cooks, it takes a while for the pressure to drop. We're gonna take that time in between to uh, cut the veggies, 
My hands are still a bit numb, again, from the neck injury, uh, spine and cord being damaged, and my left foot. Um, you see me keep going on like this because my finger just uh, feels a little bit weird. So I really hope I don't trip when I'm walking around the kitchen or cut myself. Potatoes and beef are the only two things that I am barely allergic to. Everything else is off the charts, but beef and potatoes, somehow the allergy readings are pretty low. So with enough medications and immunosuppressants, these are two things that I can tolerate the best. So I do react to tomatoes a bit, but it just tastes better with tomatoes. So sometimes you just gotta break the rules a little bit and suffer the consequences. 1.52 in the morning. The pressure pin still hasn't dropped, so still can't open it. Problem is, I'm feeling the fever come back. Pretty dizzy, feeling pretty queasy, uh, kind of weak. And it pops in Tylenol. Hopefully we can uh, last until the stew meat is finished cooking so we can put in all the veggies. All right, the pressure pin dropped. We're in business. All right, we canceled to stop the last cooking session and now we're gonna do pressure cook again, but this time we're only gonna do five minutes for the veggies. Um, again, it'll go way longer than that because it has to heat up to the right pressure and then it takes a while to uh, come down from the, that pressure for all that pressure to be released. So the actual cooking time is a lot longer and uh, that'll be enough. Three thirty in the morning. The pressure pin has dropped. Time for the moment of truth. Wow. All right, there it is. Beef soup. Dinner is served. Hopefully it'll help me get over the cold faster. <laughs> 